what is up guys Jake from one hive bringing you war 78 recap video in HD uh, got the iPhone 6 plus uh, hope let me know if this is better guys leave me a comment let me know what you think about it uh, it's on a smaller screen obviously so there's sort of less uh, you can see but it should be much clearer um, this was a fun war uh, against Taiwan uh, when I woke up we, the war started about 11 o'clock my time uh, at night uh, so I was in bed in a few hours and, and didn't see much of the start of the war. When I woke up, we were down 30-something stars. I don't know. It was 70-something to 30-something. Uh, so we had a lot of ground to make up. Uh, but as you can see, we did that and then some more. Uh, just just a fun war. Just, you know, when, when you knew your attacks mattered, it was just, I don't know, it was more entertaining and it was more exciting as we brought, come back from that big deficit and then took the lead and kept it. Uh, they They just... They were they were pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This was a very lopsided. It was, we had six town hall tens in this war. They had 18. We had seven town hall eights. They only had two. So it was really a tough war. Everybody had to bring their A game, but they did, and uh, we came out on top. Got some great attacks to show you. Uh, the first one, no town hall eights because they only had two town hall eights. Uh, is a town hall nine. This one is a Carter, and the reason I'm showing this one is this is the exact base that Rex and I just did a base breakdown on, and he uh, dragged it, okay? And we talked about how to drag it, uh, or that it could be dragged in the video. And you'll see there, he's taken out the air defenses. The top one he took out with uh, some hogs. That one, he doesn't even have max level loons. I know this base is not maxed out, but his troops aren't maxed out. Uh, he brought a rage and some loons for the bottom two, and right there, Boom, boom, boom. He's got the clan castle lured and three air, of the four air defenses down. And if you can do that uh, going into a dragon raid, you're probably going to be all right. He starts some dragons on the corners to sort of create his funnel to get to that last air defense. Uh, drops his clan castle, which had a dragon and a few loons in it. And the rest of his dragons followed up with his last rage. And right there, boom, the air defense is down. This guy's X bows are pointed down. Um, so this, you know, pretty much right here, he's got it wiped out. Uh, again, you can see the, the defenses that this guy has are not max Town Hall 9 defenses, but this base can be done in similar fashion, even with pretty much max defenses. Uh, it's going to be a little harder if the uh, expos are pointed up, but regardless, you see here that, that this base can be taken up in, in a variety of different ways, and this is just giving you another, another option uh, if you run into this base in your wars. Because uh, again, you can see we, we've already had it again. It's a very popular base. You're, you're going to see it if you're worn very often. Uh, and as we fast forward here, I mean, there's just one compartment left. Uh, he's still got his queen up and several dragons, so there's no chance uh, he's not going to get the three star at this point. Uh, so good job, Carter, uh, showing us how to take that base on a little different than what Rex showed us. Um, the next uh, attack we're going to look at is another Town Hall 9 attack, and this was from uh, Turk. And he's attacking way up because uh, we had to have some Town Hall 9s, taking out some Town Hall 10s. And he did it on their number 13. Uh, so good job there, Turk, uh, stepping up. And we didn't have enough Town Hall 10s to go around, so uh, some Town Hall 9s had to take, a, take up the slack, and they did. Uh, you'll see here he just a nice go wipe. He gets a nice spread on his golems. Uh, there's no chance those golems are going to get bunched up and go to the same, uh, the same defensive buildings and then gets a nice fan behind him with his wizards. You can see there, even with all that space, all those defenses are targeting the golems. Uh, once that the corners get taken out, there's no chance of his P.E.K.K.A.s wrapping around the base. He turns them loose, drops a nice rage. Uh, his heroes following him up, and they're heading straight for the core. Those clan castle troops and the, and the heroes are going to actually draw them straight into that core. So use that to your advantage, uh, if you're, especially if you're not going to lure like that to draw all your troops right where you want them to go in the core there. And as you can see, boom, the town hall goes down. Uh, he's got plenty of troops in the core to hollow it out. And really what made this uh, made this nice is the way that his uh, barbarian king and a golem are still down there on the bottom tank. And you'll see he's got like, what, four or five witches, or excuse me, wizards there, uh, taking out all those defenses because they're not taking any fire and haven't been this whole time. They're just constantly putting out DPS this whole raid. Uh, it's going to sort of peter out here. We'll, We'll fast forward a little bit as his what he has left to tank goes down here at the end uh, due to those those Teslas and Archer Towers. It's it's over. Uh, his uh, wizards are exposed and they're going to finish them off. But just a great uh, 80 82 uh, percent two star on a Town Hall 10 by a Town Hall 9. So good job, Turk. 
Uh, the last one we're going to look at is our Town Hall 10, and it is by none other than the famous Wise Guy. I really enjoyed this attack. It was just something different. Uh, hog attack versus a, a Town Hall 10. It's a cleanup attack. It's been attacked before. Uh, and you can see there he, he knew where a giant bomb was, uh, dropped the, triggered it, and then dropped some balloons to take out that, that archer tower and to draw the clan castle troops. Uh, so he used that for his lure. He's going to draw them up here to the corner uh, to take them out. Just standard stuff there. We'll stop for a drink of beer while he does that. Okay. Uh, just, just sort of positioning them here uh, with some barbarians. Uh, and as you can see, he'll drop his, his clan castle and then a few uh, wizards and his uh, archer queen behind to, to help it. Now, this guy had two uh, witches in his clan castle. And so really, this, this hurt uh, it took up a lot of time. It takes When you've got two witches you've got to deal with, it takes time to, to sort of get those skellies down and get to the, uh, to the witches, especially when you don't have a lot of room. On a Town Hall 10, they're so big, you don't have a lot of room to, uh, to position them just right. Uh, once he gets them pretty much taken care of, he drops his P.E.K.K.A., which is going to be what he uses to take out the, the queen right there. She's exposed. There's no walls. Uh, one swipe, pretty much, boom, she's gone. And on the right side, I should have moved over a little bit more. You can see he's wanting to take out that archer tower, and he does right there. That is to break the ring. He wants all these hogs he's dropping now to head straight towards those uh, inferno towers. That freeze is money. Took out two Inferno Towers, two Teslas. He kept it going, uh, dropped his heels. There's two giant bombs. You, you can't see them. One gets triggered in a moment on the, right on the outside of those little two by two squares by where the Inferno Towers were. His hogs completely avoided them. Right there, you see some archers trigger one on that side. Completely avoided them, continued on up through the base. So that was all perfect the way he handled that core. Unfortunately, you'll see here he's out of spells. He had to get those, keep those freezes and and his rage and, and stuff in his heels to keep his hogs through that core because with max and max level Teslas and some max uh, uh, Inferno Towers on multi, that's that's a lot of DPS coming your way. You've got to keep that subdued and, and keep your troops up. So unfortunately, no heels left here. Uh, the Barbarian King finishes off the last few of his hogs, but he's got the two-star locked down and uh, it just unfortunately runs out of time as we fast forward here. Uh, you'll see he's got quite a bit to, to take out left. He's got just the top half of the base, basically, but all the defenses, all the heroes, all gone. So awesome job there, uh, wise guy on that attack. We haven't seen uh, a good hog attack on Town Hall 10 like that in a while. All right, guys, that's it. Again, one of the funnest wars that uh, I remember in a while. It was just exciting. We had, we had a good time. It, everybody was sort of keyed up on it. It wasn't boring. Uh, so you'll see here that we just, uh, we just outdid him in the three-star category. But awesome job to everyone at One Hive. And a good try to tie one. You guys brought it, so that's always fun. Uh, until next time, guys, Jake from One Hive, hoping you guys remember to suck less.